three-dimensional example. Don't worry, the three-dimensional ones, some people actually think they're easier. So we'll see. Okay, before the trunk of a large tree is pulled down, cables AB and BC are attached as shown. Okay, so we're going to pull this tree over and we want to make sure it doesn't fall on your car or fall on your house. We want it to, it looks like they're trying to pull it kind of forward. So these two cables, AB and CB, are going to help pull the tree over and pull it in the right direction. Knowing the tension in cable AB and BC are 555 newtons and 660 newtons, find the moment around O. This is the moment around the origin of our coordinate system. So we're going to uproot the tree right here at the ground. And the resultant force exerted on the tree by the cables at B. So B, this is where the cables are actually pulling at the tree. The force is applied here. Rotation is happening down here at the ground. So force is up here. Rotation happening at the ground. The vector describing the moment always seems to be a confusing point for everyone. So let's split this apart and think through what each cable is doing to the tree. The first cable over here is pulling down and forward. And what this would create is a rotational motion mostly around the x-axis. So the force at B from this cable, and we're going up the tree trunk and then pulling at B, this is going to rotate it around the X direction. Think through the same thing with the other cable. So the other cable pulling at B is going to create a rotational motion around the Z axis. If we add both of those together, we end up with a rotational axis that's kind of at 45 degrees. Now the cables aren't exactly on the coordinate system, but this is the basic idea, is the tree is going to fall forward and you don't want to park your car right here. Okay, so it's going to be a combination of rotating around the x-axis and around the z-axis. And here is the vector describing what we are rotating around. So it's a little bit in the x direction, a little bit in the z direction. Both of them together create this new vector. And this vector addition, this is just like adding force vectors or any kind of vectors. So you can add the x direction plus the z direction. And this is head to tail, head to tail. Here's the, the magnitude of the overall moment that is created from this. So the moment really is vectors, and those vectors are describing the axis that you're rotating around. Before we can take the cross product, we have to split everything up into its x, y, z components. Let's split cable AB up first. We have a force of 555 newtons, so I'm going to fill that in over here. And we're going to go through looking at the distances of our cable. We'll use our cable to find our unit vector, and then our unit vector to split apart our forces. Okay, so here's our cable. We're going back in the x direction just a little bit. There's our negative 0.75. Y, that's coming down the tree trunk, 7 meters. We're coming down the tree trunk, 7 meters. And then Z is coming forward, and that's our 6 meters right here. Dx, dy, dz, find the overall distance. So that's x squared, y squared, z squared. Take the square root of it. So that's the length of our entire cable. And then to turn this into our unit vector, remember the unit vector is just the ratios. So 0.75 over the total length, and 7 over the total length, and 6 over the total length. And our unit vector has a length of 1. We then take our unit vector and use that to split our force apart. So 
555 times 0 0.081, there's our x component. 555 times 0.75, there's our y component and our z component. And you can check to make sure x squared, y squared, z squared gives you back that original force at the end of it. Same thing for the next cable, BC. This is where it's nice to set it up in Excel because you can just copy and paste those same tables around, fill out a couple different numbers. X direction, we're coming forward, 4.25 in the X direction. Y, it's the same tree trunk, we're coming down 7. DZ, there's our Z component, so we're coming out 1 meter. There's our cable distance, here's our unit vector, and we can split this force into X, Y, Z components. Before getting the answer for any of this, think through intuitively what it should be. So which way is this tree going to fall again? Where is it rotating around? What's the axis of rotation? And that's where are we taking the moment around? That's the ground. So it's going to be rotating around the ground. So moment really is a stability. A lot of failures happen by something rotating around a point. This is describing anything that's falling over. It's a moment and it's a rotational fight that you're doing to keep things stable. Each force creates its own moment. Let's look at cable AB first. So the position vector from where it's rotating around to where the force is applied. So we're going up that tree trunk. So here's our position vector. We're going right up the tree trunk from the ground to where the force is. And the force in this cable is pulling down and forward. There's the X, Y, Z forces that we split apart previously to take that 555 and split it into its X, Y, Z components. Once we have this in our, in our cross product, we're just going to be walking through. There's a lot of zeros in here. We end up getting something mostly in the X direction, just a little bit in the K direction. And you can look over here, see how this is, this cable is rotating it mainly around the X axis. So it's going to be pulling it straight forward, rotating it around the x-axis and it's not quite on the z so that gives you a little bit of rotation around the z-axis too. Same thing for the next cable. Which way is this cable trying to rotate? So remember this one's kind of pulling in the x direction and that's going to rotate it around the z direction. So you'd expect for this to be the large magnitude that this guy's rotating it around. Okay so once again we're coming down the tree trunk axis of rotation to where the force is applied. So there's our position vector 0, 0,7,0. 0. We had to split that 660 newtons into its XYZ components. So there's the force split up into its XYZ components. Then crank through the cross product, see what's in the I direction, what's in the J direction, what's in the K direction. And at the very end, we're going to take the moment generated by AB, the moments generated by BC, and add these together. So we add everything in the I direction together. Nothing happening in the J direction. Why is the moment in the J direction zero? That's because there's no distance. The cables are attached to this axis. So it's, you know, the, the tree is not going to be rotating around the Y axis at all. It's going to be around the X and the Z axis. So this ends up being zero, and here is the K direction. So that is when you add these guys together, you get something kind of big in the I direction from AB. You get something kind of big in the K direction from BC. And when you add these two together, here's the overall axis that it's rotating around and the magnitude of how much that tree is getting pulled around this axis. And you're going to use that right-hand rule for positive versus negative. So it's, it's rotating around to the front. That will stick your thumb backwards and add these vectors together just like you'd add a force vector together.